determine the indicated terms of the sequence given a sub n equals the quantity n plus two factorial divided by the quantity two n squared minus n plus six. To determine a sub one, we know n is equal to one and therefore a sub one is equal to the quantity one plus two factorial divided by the quantity two times one squared minus one plus six. Simplifying, one plus two of course is three, so we have three factorial divided by, in the denominator, one squared is one, two times one is two, so we have two minus one plus six in the denominator, and three factorial is equal to three times two times one, in the denominator, we have two minus one, which is one plus six, which is seven. There are no common factors other than one between the numerator and denominator, and therefore this simplifies to six sevenths. Next, we have a sub two, so now n is equal to two. a sub two is equal to the quantity two plus two factorial divided by the quantity two times two squared minus two plus six. In the numerator, we have four factorial. In the denominator, two squared is equal to four, two times four is eight, so we have eight minus two plus six. Four factorial is equal to four times three times two times one. In the denominator, eight minus two is six, six plus six is 12. Notice four times three is 12, and therefore we have a common factor of 12 between the numerator and denominator, 12 divided by 12 simplifies to one, leaving us with two times one, which is equal to two. A sub two is equal to two. Next we have A sub three, where we know n is equal to three. Substituting three for n, A sub three is equal to the quantity three plus two factorial, divided by the quantity two times three squared minus three plus six. Simplifying in the numerator, we have five factorial. In the denominator, three squared is nine, two times nine is 18, giving us 18 minus three plus six. Five factorial is five times four times three times two times one. In the denominator, we have 18 minus three, which is 15 plus six is 21. Notice we have a common factor of three between the numerator and denominator. There's one three and three and seven threes and 21. This leaves us with five times four times two times one in the numerator, which is 40. In the denominator, we have seven. A sub three is equal to 40 sevenths. And finally, for A sub four, we now know n is equal to four. Substituting four for n, we have A sub four is equal to the quantity four plus two factorial divided by the quantity two times four squared minus four plus six. This gives us six factorial divided by, in the denominator, four squared is 16, two times 16 is 32. We have 32 minus four plus six. Six factorial is six times five times four times three times two times one. In the denominator, we have 32 minus four, which is 28. 28 plus six is 34. The only common factor between the numerator and denominator is two. There's one, two, and two, and 17 twos, and 34. In the numerator, we have six times five, which is 30, times four, which is 120, times three, which is 360, times one is still 360. In the denominator, we have 17. A sub four is equal to 360 seventeenths. I hope you found this helpful.